Hey guys, welcome back to another HTML tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be explaining how to use iframe to embed uh, other websites into your own websites. So iframe was actually a special uh, it's a special element which allows you to, like I said, embed uh, other websites which aren't your own into your own website. So I'm just going to create a quick HTML document here and uh, just call this iframe. And yeah, I'm not actually sure why it's called iframe. Like, it kind of reminds me of an Apple product, but it probably stands for Internet Frame, but to be honest, I'm actually not sure. So one thing you need to know with iframe is that uh, not all websites will, will work with it. Uh, and this can be because, you know, they just don't want to have their websites being shared everywhere. Um, but yeah, it's not like you can just embed every single website. Uh, for example, if I try to embed the regular google.com into this, uh, you're going to see that it actually isn't going to work. Um, so let's just inspect this. You can't actually see anything, but it is there. Uh, you'll see we're here, and if I go to console, you can see that we can't display google.com because it's uh, got its X-Frame options to same origin, which basically means that it's only going to display it if it's from the same origin, so from google.com. So to solve this, uh, we can actually use a slightly different URL. Obviously, it doesn't work for everything, but if you want to display Google, uh, then you can just do like s type in this instead, so search, and then IGU is equal to 1. Uh, once you do that, you should actually be able to display Google like this. Uh, so you still get some uh, errors, but this is mainly from Google, and you can kind of ignore this. Uh, so if we go here, and then let's just go to style, and let's just get the iframe. Maybe we can just make this a bit bigger. Uh, I'll just make it. Oh, all right, let's just make it 100% with 100% as well. Okay, so now we basically just displayed an iframe for the entire view. So we're embedding google.com inside. And I'm actually going to make it 50 and 50 just so we can see the uh, our own website as well. And let's just make this back in color red. Okay, so you can see how the iframe is basically acting like another web browser or tab inside of our own page. So google.com uh, resizes appropriately to fit inside this. And obviously I can just search anything I want here. So if I just search up RSK coding, you can see that it comes up like this. And yeah, this is basically Google. One thing you should know about iframes is you can't actually interact with any of the content inside of here. So if I were to like, let's say, let's just inspect this element and oh, Let's just make this a bit small so I can actually see it. And oh my god. Okay, so we can see that. Okay, well, I can't really read any of that. But uh, one thing you should know is if I if I try and interact with this, it's not going to let me. So uh, if I like try to attach an event handler to this, it's not going to let me. Uh, like a button click, listener, anything like that, and it's just not going to work. The reason for that is otherwise. <laughs> What you could do is you could just embed like google.com into your own website then the user would start using that and then you could just like you know listen to their keyboard or something and it'd, you'd be able to understand everything they're typing like passwords things like that so yeah it's for safety reasons you basically can't really interact with this page at all it's just a window and you can only control the window you can't really control what's inside so thanks for watching and that's how you use iframe in uh, html see you guys in future tutorial bye